We're here tonight on Granville Island, the hub of the Vancouver Fringe Fest, where tonight we're gonna take in one of the brightest and youngest shows with an old soul here at the Fringe Fest, kicking it back to the 1920s for the bright young things. Your shots have really inspired my work. Spoken like a true fan. I'm impressed. Uh, but I have always been interested in photography. Well, it's quite the business. I mean, with the new advancements, it's nearly a new model every week. Uh, actually, I've been saving up for one, uh, but it's expensive. Well, you've got to stop spending all your money on Vogue and get yourself a camera wrong. Good point. This show is based on a real movement from the 1920s. The Bright Young Things were actual aristocrats and celebrities who threw these like wild, elaborate costume parties and scavenger hunts and soirees in London. When we made the show, we wanted to sort of recreate a party. And so it's not necessarily based on any of the real people from that movement. And the show is set at Stephen birthday party and then it's the sort of like ensuing drama that happens at this party i was merely enjoying the party you've really outdone yourself don't feign flattery you're not welcome here unfortunately for you i'm writing a piece on your fun little soiree you're here with vogue quite an upgrade from the tabloids be happy How you're getting any press at all vogue standards must have dropped if they have you writing about my parties Perhaps I needed someone close to the story. You've been gone for two years. Ah, uh, yes, but sisterhood prevails. I play the character of Selena. I was actually not in the original production of this. I was the stage manager. So then for this production, the person who played Selena could not do it. So I stepped in and we did a bunch of rewrites and we rewrote like all of her scenes. So all of the lines that Selena says are my own now. And the character is transformed into this like, beacon of fun. Like we wanted to add more fun to this piece and more party. And my character loves to party. So party, party, party. That is what I do. <laughs> that is Selena. <laughs> I play Olivia Ross, and she used to be a big partier in the scene, but she's been away for a while. She's wound up becoming a writer. She works for Vogue, which was actually a big part of the scene back then. And she's come back to this party that is being thrown by her sister, who she hasn't seen in a very long time. And it's uh, the conflict that ensues because of the sister trauma and uh, hardship that goes on. This is a very special night for Steven. Don't mess it up. I wouldn't dream of it. Enjoy your party. <laughs> That's what I'm doing for you. Oh, 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 oh. There's a lot of shows to choose from here at Fringe. Uh, why should people come check out Bright Young Things? I think they should come see the Bright Young Things because it really is a mirror into the past, but also it reflects back our own experience that we're going through right now. You know, we're in the 20s, uh, we've just dealt with a pandemic. There's a lot of things that we're trying to deal with and perhaps this show might help someone parse through some of those things or give them more questions and really look in the mirror and wonder, am I making good choices? Is this what I should be doing? And how do I move forward in a good manner, you know? Well, there you have it. The decadent, rebellious, glamorous, bright young things here at the Vancouver Fringe. And even though this story takes place in the 1920s, many of the themes, emotions, and feelings are still very alive today. Jordan Wade with City Lights on Novus TV.